understand our industry is changing right now and it's a lot of things are never going to go back to the way they were and a lot of that changes around technology <music>
understand our industry is changing right now and it's a lot of things are never going to go back to the way they were and a lot of that changes around technology i know we all like to say that we're big on technology well usually the change that you see happening is not what you foresee and i'll tell you right now this industry and this this virus is forcing a lot of changes that are quite frankly have been long overdue um, so if you think you can't do business and, and that's your excuse for sitting back and not doing any activity whatsoever, understand you're rolling the dice on that because a lot of people are going to move ahead of you right now and they're going to find a way around it and a way that's safe around it. And you're going to find a lot of people get in the other camp and say, well, that's just not uh, socially appropriate right now. But if it's totally safe and in compliance with all laws and it still generates business and helps move our economies, I think it's above and beyond, and those are the heroes that are going to come out of this thing and advance their position on the other end. So it's not too late for you to do that and change that mindset around business generation during this time. So what should they be doing? What should that lead generation plan look like? It's real simple. First and foremost, 80% of all business in North America is done by sphere of influence, which means people are picking their realtor and buying a house based on a realtor they know or someone that they know knows. Okay, so it's by referral. Okay, and that's 80% of all business. So understand only 20% of it is everything else, right? That's your FISBOs, your expired, your door knocking, your circle prospecting, your internet lead generation. That's all fighting for a very small percentage of the pie. 80% of it, the, you know, that's, that's swimming downstream if you're working that, is all done by referral. People wanna work with people they know or someone that they know trusts. And SOI work is never, never going after business right now. That's activity, stay in touch, build rapport, come from contribution, add value, and keep that mindset or gaining that mind share with your clients by staying in front of them and always adding value to them so that when they do wanna buy or sell, they choose you. Well, right now it's never been easier to add value because we need to be sharing lots of information right now, whether it's a list uh, of all the restaurants that, that deliver curbside delivery or a list of all the senior citizen or, or the, the grocery stores that have senior citizen hours in your town or we're doing giveaways and contests for people that support different things like local businesses or buying gift cards from them or or uh, raffling off prizes for people that nominate different local businesses or doing virtual client events easter egg hunts hangouts etc all of these things we can do to add value entertain people occupy people and help our and or help our local community online and you'll notice a lot of that's going to social media right now because um, you know social media is about to break facebook itself is about to break because of all the the, the increase in numbers of viewers that are on it so it's going to force those people that are uncomfortable on social media those agents to adapt to that right in a very very big way and as we work our soi through social media we can make a lot of contacts on that and one of the things we teach at eisenhower coaching and consulting um, to all of our coaching clients, and, and we represent the vast majority of the top producing solo agents and teams in North America, and, and, and a large number of high producing brokerages as well. And when we coach these agents and our leaders to their agents, we're coaching as their primary foundation of their business is to work their sphere of influence, because if they work their sphere of influence, we know if they can actually stay in front of them 40 times a year, whether it's email, social media, mailer, phone call, face-to-face, -face, which obviously it's tough to do right now, but we can omit that one and still do all the rest, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there's quite a few other different communication channels we can hit. If we can stay in front of them 40 times a year by diversifying those, those types of contacts, we know that we'll get a seven to one return back, which means for every seven people in their sphere of influence database, we can expect to receive one side of business, either a listing or a buyer side, right? So for example, if they have 300 people in their sphere of influence database and they have been contacting them 40 times a year, we divide 300 by seven and that's 43 closed transactions per year from a grown, contacted, saturated SOI, right? And, and that may be surprising to you and you may not believe that, but I can also tell you, you probably don't know someone who's actually systematically and consistently contacted their SOI 40 times a year. We do know it. In fact, we've never seen it not work, but we've seen a ton of people not be able to do it.
right? So what we can do is make it so that we can do that, so that we will do that and we will consistently do it. And one of the easiest ways to make one of those contacts is social media. It's much more effective when you're engaging with people on social media than an email or a mailer. It may not rise to the level of a phone call, like a verbal conversation, but it is preferred by a lot of people and it's highly, highly effective, right? So if we can actually get our SOI annual database contact plan together and work our SOI, so we're making contacts, using a lot of the techniques I just kind of gave as examples to add value and stay in front of them and at least be attempting to come from contribution, it'll be highly impactful. That's number one. We're going to actually embrace social media, number two, right? Learning how to do Facebook Live so we can make some of those contacts. Learning how to post videos. Learning how to create images on uh, on uh, graphic design uh, platforms for dummies like canva.com so we can post things that come from contribution and add value because images do get a lot of interactions and then also start interacting with other people's posts a lot more consistently by using our 10 10 5 method or interacting with with 10 likes doing 10 comments and five post shares or direct messages per day with people we are friends with which should be our members of our own sphere of influence our soi so we're, we're interacting consistently, and that should only take you about 15 minutes a day, right? So we're engaging with those social media. That's number two. So number one, SOI. Number two, learning and engaging with social media. Number three, we should be learning and getting up to speed on video right now, right? We should learn how to do it on our phone. We should learn how to do it on a webcam and learning how to do it ourselves. Yes, I know videographers do a nice fancy job. Right now it's probably tough to work with a videographer since a lot of people are staying at home. Plus that's much more expensive. Working with a videographer for all your videos is not a good idea. If they, they are good for doing some of your videos, don't get me wrong, but it's too cost prohibitive and too slow to use all of your videos through a videographer. So you also be able, need to be able to do video yourself, right? And it's really easy to do with, with, with such amazing cameras on, on all the phones out there today day um, uh, you know a high definition webcam uh, like the one you're watching me on right now is probably a hundred bucks I mean there's they're not overly expensive um, so learning how to to use those and use your um, video equipment on your uh, on your computer is actually so darn easy it's not as hard as you think you don't need to do a lot of video editing to to your videos um, and then, if, but if you really want to get past it, let's learn how, learn how to do some basic editing. At least learn how to cut the ends of the of the video off, and and the beginning and the end, and maybe put a graphic or two up there. Um, it's really easy to do, and right now you're limited at home, and that's highly productive. So let's get comfortable with video. So again, SOI, social media, learning video right now, learning video conferencing is number is the uh, is the fourth part of it, right? We need to learn how to use a video conference, whether you're using Zoom, Google Hangouts, Uber Conference what have you, let's learn how to do video conferencing so that we can do listing and buyer consultations via video conference now and in the future. Pretty sure those are here to stay, guys. Um, regardless of when this is over, I think a lot of people would prefer a, a buyer consultation done via video conference rather than having to drive into your office. So I'm pretty sure that one's going to stick, right? So again, that's number four, SOI, social media at a high level. Need to make a lot of contacts there and develop a cadence and a rhythm there, right? Mixing into that rhythm, we're going to learn how to do video. We're going to force it, okay? Number four, we're going to we're going to get into video conferencing, right? Learning how to do our listing consultations, our buyer consultations, or even virtual showings through it as well, too. And if you run a team or a brokerage, we're going to do video. We're going to do um, video meetings with our team on a regular basis, right? If we met in person before, we're going to start meeting much more frequently now via video conference too. So we're gonna get used to that. So we're a lot more effective that way as well. The last thing I would probably say that we wanna do is we wanna do CRM action plans, right? We've always talked about systematizing, systematizing our SOI uh, database plan or our lead follow-up plans after we generate a lead how do we stay on top of them and nurture them over time or how do we build our inventory pipelines where we know we have buyer leads or or listing leads that are coming down the road and we want to make sure so I, I really think that would be the fifth part of this and the final part of this is actually let's get those action plans together in our CRM so our CRM is our customer relationship management system If you don't have one that would be the step I'd be working on for the fifth is let's get one Number two, I'd get my sphere of influence into it, right? So that we have all the contact information for the people we know that we're friends with on Facebook and we have in our phone in there, 
right? And number three, I'd set up an SOI database contact plan in the CRM. And number four, I'd set my lead follow-up plans, right? And then, I mean, there's a lot of other action plans we can have uh, that we coach through our clients, you know, but if you don't have those, I'd start there for sure. You know, we could get into farming plans, how we're farming neighborhoods and how we're actually tracking all the contacts we make to residents of neighborhoods in there as well too. Our expired listing follow-up plans, our FISBO listing follow-up plans. Because guys, if you're gonna lead generate at a high level, it, it's too much to keep in your head and just do it when you feel like it or keep it in your calendar. We're gonna to need to set it up in a CRM. But now's the time. This is a very rough time in history. And I'll tell you right now, it's let's try to make a silver lining out of it and continue to generate business and force ourselves to get into uncomfortable spaces where we're finally doing some of this stuff that we've always known we needed to do to get our business to the next level. And to do that, you gotta control your mindset, okay? You, you, you gotta stop this whole, well, I'm just gonna watch Netflix all the time and I'm just gonna, you know, you know, and I'm just gonna work out or jog outside or whatever you can do. It's time to have a routine and part of your routine, at least a couple hours of it per day, needs to be dedicated to business generation and have a plan with it. I just gave you a bunch of stuff you can do that will enhance your career and your business income this year and long into the future as well too. So we have to stay productive. It's something we're working with all our coaching clients uh, through all of our coaches across North America on right now is, hey, we can finally get to this stuff. And it's very important we stay disciplined with it, okay? So again, SOI, let's work on our SOI, stay in contact, add value to your local communities, grow it and contact it by coming from contribution. Number two, social media. Let's force it, let's get a cadence going. Let's post at a high level, let's, get with, let's engage with other people's posts at a high level. Again, coming from contribution, helping being positive all the time. Number three, we're gonna to adapt to video and we're gonna do video on our own. We're not gonna rely on other people. We're gonna to force to learn how to do it on our phone, how to use our software and our computer and our webcam to get video out there, how to go live on Facebook. Again, uh, same, same deal there. We have got to learn how to use these things and start getting comfortable with those, okay? And then video conferencing, listing and buyer consults, um, team meetings, even virtual showings possibly. And then lastly, let's get your CRM set up with all your database contact plans and get your SOI in there if they're not in there as well too. That's your business plan throughout this. And I doubt we are gonna be out of work or at least stuck in our houses for as long as it's gonna take for you to get all of that stuff done, okay? Because that's a ton of work right there. And that's a game changer that turns your career around. Uh, if you can get it all done, you will be a very different business coming out of this thing uh, in a much better way too. And you will still generate a ton of business after this is over, but still this year too. So guys, don't roll over. You can do this. Um, stay positive, stay focused, keep a routine. Thanks again. Okay. Bye-bye.